In this training video, we're going to look at the use of the standard calendar and controlling non-working time for the standard calendar. In this example, we're going to use holidays and which are affecting the whole of an organization, i.e. Christmas, Boxing Day and New Year's Day. So these are the three holidays I'm going to add as non-working to the standard calendar. So whenever you're entering non-working time for standard calendar, ideally you should do it before you enter any resources or any tasks into a project because then the non-working time won't affect the, the days within a calendar, the start and finish date. It's not going to affect duration because project doesn't count non-working, but it can affect the start and finish dates if you've already typed tasks in and you've got resources in. So the best time to add non-working time into a standard calendar is when there is no data entry. So that's the stage I'm at now. There's nothing been entered into this, into this project. I'm going to use a feature called change working time. Now this is the project tab, change working time for the standard calendar. Now with project by default comes three calendars the 24-hour calendar, a night shift calendar, and a standard calendar. So the standard calendar settings are working to an eight-hour working day. So we can say under exceptions, any part which is non-working for the whole of an organization, i.e. Like, uh, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year's Day. So this is what I'm going to do in this example. I'm going to set three different holidays under exceptions. So this is what you would do for an entire organization. Now, if you are affecting a member of staff who had, for example, a sick leave, you would use the, the resource calendar exceptions, which means non-working, and you would put their sick leave against exceptions, but that would be for a resource calendar, i.e. HR advisor. But in this, cal in this calendar, we're affecting the standard calendar. So I'm going to put in some some exceptions, so Christmas Day, and that's going to be the 25th of December. So I'm going to go forward a couple of months. Okay, Boxing Day. And again, a couple of months. And New Year's, New Year's Day. And again, a couple of months. Okay, so what I've now done, I've set three dates into the exceptions, which I know are non-working for the entire organization in this example. Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Day. So if I were to click on the Christmas Day, I can now see the 25th is non-working. So it's telling project not to count this day as working. Boxing Day, it's the same, non-working the 26th. New Year's Day, the first same, non-working. Now click OK. And those three dates are now built in to the project calendar, which will then look at any tasks working on over December. It's not going to count duration because it's set to non-working. So this completes exceptions and non-working time for the standard calendar. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.